What's going on guys? Play by Play Gaming here back with another Epic Sun video and today we're doing our daily installment, not daily, but like weekly installment of our GBG Endeavor season which is coming to a close fairly soon. Uh, let's take a look at how we're ranking this day 598 so I moved up from 700 not too bad let's take a look at our defense right now we're getting crushed um, three days ago we were able to get uh, some shields and we weren't hit uh, and then today we got uh, one shot pretty much so uh, let's see if we can attack that same person all right here we go all right, here we go. So we found Autumn Flow. Round one, we're going to go SSB since it's Protect the S10A here. I'll go SSB, Reach, and then Dizzy, Reach, and then DN for the backups. We should be okay, right? Round two, we're going to go uh, our traditional Oxlots into LQC, pick out one by one, and we should be good unless that uh, Mildred is... Uh, 260 speed, uh, we should be okay. All right, so no immunity, that's a big rip for them. So able to get that. Uh, she's gonna put up her shields and all that good stuff, um, but that actually works in our favor uh, because I think that the Ruel is on Isle Shear, right? So it pushed up the Spectre Nibria. So that means that her thing will... And we still get crit, because why not, right? Hey, we resisted though. Uh, so that's really good. We're going to put up our S3 so we can get the attack up for our SSB and for our Dizzy so we can start dealing some damage here. So we'll get the clap back here. Deal a little bit of damage. Uh, we should be able to take out the S10A here. Um, she'll get revived, uh, but that's okay. Alright, so we will focus on the Ruel here. She's going to push up the Elena, that's fine. And uh, we will just... We'll S1 for now. All right, so we're hoping for a defense break here. Uh, not much really to deal with. They're not really fast enough to really cycle through all the way. So uh, Elena, though, is going to keep getting combat readiness since I'm focusing on Ruel. Well. Uh, but once she revives the S10A here, she'll use her S3, and then we'll take out the Ruel and then focus on the Elena again. Because I think that she should be close to her S3 again. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to push him back here. Okay, able to get the pushback on the 10A. Let's do S2 uh, because that 10A is going to hit pretty hard here in a bit. So we'll, we'll turtle up. And we'll hit the... We'll hit the Ruel. Shouldn't do too much. We'll get the clap back here. Hoping for some defense breaks. Okay, got a defense break, so that's really nice. Uh, we will just S1 the Ruel here. No stuns at all. We will S3. Hopefully anti-crit works. Because even when she was blinded, she crit, so... Dual attack is nice, gives stacks to my SSB. And she's gonna go with her S3. Uh, so we have our S3 up, I think. So we're just gonna kinda loop. Okay, we got defense break on the Elena, which is nice. They're at full heals now. So. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta do S3. We'll do S3. We could have soul burned, but I don't think that's necessary right now. I think we really need to wait for the soul burn on uh, the SSB, right? So we'll just S1 here. So 
social cleanse. Now, as long as we don't get dual attack too much here. Okay, we'll hit back here. And then we'll S2. So, more defense breaks. Let's clean that poison off. And we'll push back here. That lane is almost gone. We're going to soul burn just in case. We should be able to take out uh, the Tene and the Elena here. Great, that works. Uh, we haven't gotten any stuns. So, let's see. Nothing here. We need to cycle before, before she goes. Uh, so we'll S3 here. I think she got, she has her S2 up, right? S2 into like something else. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I think that if she has her S2, okay, S3, that's fine. She's going to revive. And hopefully the 10-8. No, not the 10-8. Okay. I will guide you through the light. So we will go. She has S2 up already. Okay. So we're gonna have to soul burn here. Uh, we'll just S1. The Elena's already pushed up, so that's fine. Um, Elena's gonna get pushed up again because of Idol's cheer. Heals for a lot. Okay, we'll do this. Soul burn. And then push back. Okay, let's see. We can get the push back here. Okay, got the push back. We really didn't take out the oh well. Alright, we got that. So finally. <laughs> took a little while, but we took her out. So, not too bad. The thing about this comp here is that you just gotta time it, right? Gotta time it. If the Ruel would have been faster, or maybe if they would have both been on Idol's Cheer, I think uh, that would have been really tough. Okay, so second fight, I'm a little concerned about because uh, there's a potential there that we still get one shot at. You see, Dizzy is super fast. Um, okay. So we're going to go into LQC here. Um, I think the builder is still going to take out somebody here. Um, Kisei is plus 15, Vildred is plus 15. So I guess Kisei? Or Vildred. We'll go Kisei. We'll go Kisei. Really excited for those uh, LQC buffs though. Because now we're going to get splash damage. You see, that would have killed him. The, 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 that back damage that I would have done on the LQC would have killed him. Okay, with a strip, as long as he's, he doesn't one-shot everybody here, we should be okay. Alright, let's heal up. We're going to heal up the Oxlots here. And... We'll do S3. We'll, we'll kill the uh, villager here. And get the silence on the Dizzy, which is nice. And then we should be able to take out the Dizzy. I didn't see how much HP she had, but even if she's tanky, uh, we'll take her out. So the thing about this comp is that there was no sustain, right? No sustain, and all I had to do was really just outspeed them. Okay, so Autumn Flow GG took out my team, took out his team. So, not too bad. Alright, let's find someone else we can hit. Alright, we got Trower up next. Round one, we're going to try to bruiser this team up. 
We'll see how this goes. We brought in Ravi, our girl Ravi, uh, Dark Corvus, and Ruel. I know there's a Selene there, so we're gonna try to take out Selene first before we need to go with any of our skills. Um, but we'll see. The good thing though is that my Ruel will at least not get one-shotted, hopefully. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, because if she's on the new EE, uh, she's gonna hit one of these two, probably the Ravi, right? Probably the Ravi, okay. Round two, we're just gonna, again, tank this up. Uh, all we have to do is go first, maybe get the Provoke on the uh, BBK, and then just kind of uh, control them the rest of the way and trip them down. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Round one, interesting fight here. So she's gonna go first, that's fine. We don't have any debuffs right now, so not too much we really need to worry about here. Okay, so we're gonna go on... We're gonna go on Selene. And we're gonna try to focus her down. Not gonna get any stuns here, that's fine. Miss on the Ravi, but that's good because we get pushed up. We get stacks on Ravi and on. Hey, was she on Aliha's knife? Oof. This Ken's gonna do a lot of damage, isn't he? He's gonna take on my Ruel. Have a feeling. Okay, or not. Um, we'll just keep going on the Selene. So we need to heal ourselves. Uh, my Ravi is more than likely gonna go down here because she's gonna get attacked by uh, this girl. Oh, missed. But she's still gonna go down, right? Okay, or not, or not. We, we got it, we got a shot. So we gotta go on the can, we need stacks. No counter this time. Bop. Oh, we lost everybody. I don't think we can solo this. We gotta go for it. Lost everybody there. The Selene just did way too much damage, right? With the attack up and everything. And then the Vivian just kind of finished everybody off. Yeah, it's just too much damage. Uh, let's see, maybe we can get the Provoke here. No Provoke. Do we even have souls here? Okay, we have one soul. Um, this Ken, he needs to crit. Okay. So, we're gonna go on the Vivian here. Get some heals. Um, as long as we don't get countered too much here. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we need to not crit. That's the thing. So I don't know if this is this gonna give us enough? No. No crit here. We, we're one away. Can we not crit? Okay, we got the provoke, which is nice. And I think we can do this. Can we? I don't know. I should have probably waited for the Soul Burn. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah. Should have waited for the Soul Burn here. And that's a rip. Okay. Almost made it there. Should have waited for this whole burn. Misplayed by me. Too bad. Okay. Let's see. Round two. Let's see if we can get this one round two. Uh, so we are faster than them. Okay. And we're going to go on the BBK. So I dropped Clary's effectiveness. Not really liking that at all. She's not landing anything, pretty much. Able to get that there, though. The good thing is they don't have a way to cleanse, so that's really nice. Uh, we're going to push the BBK. This 
Okay, so they're going on crowd. That's that's perfectly fine. That crowd's 19k. Uh, let's just focus on BBK. Should be able to take her out here. Well, she has defense up. Uh, we'll push. And then this should take her out, right? Yeah, okay. And so then we just got Mercer there. That first fight. I was hoping I could do it with the S3 without the Soul Burn, but he was too tanky. MLK was too tanky. It's really unfortunate. Save my Dark Corvus, though. Now isn't the time to hesitate. Gotta keep going on the Mercer. Alright, so let's see if we can get a stun here. Hey, we got double stuns. Needed the stun. I think we have Clurry's S3 up already. So we'll focus down the um, the Mercer here. I'm thinking that we probably shouldn't have focused down the Mercer just so that we can get Crow lower since that's who they were focusing on. Um, we'll just S3. Why not, right? Uh, we're gonna Soul Burn on the on the Crow. Okay, that that works. Uh, so we're just gonna S1. He's slowed down, so we should be able to lap him. Uh, we're gonna do defense, do a little bit more damage here. And we're gonna push him back. Because I don't think that he's effect resist. Now uh, we got three more turns before we have to go. Able to get a provoke there. Yeah, we're gonna lap him. Maybe stuns? Hey, we got the stuns too. So that's the thing when you don't build effect resist on Crow. He just gets controlled, right? Uh, we'll, we'll just horse now. I think we should be able to get that done. Inting, inting first, first fight, man. Feels bad. Okay, we should get it here. So that's GG, round one. Still feeling salty about that. Should have waited. Should have waited. Okay, but I couldn't take the risk, right? Because I was. It was a matter of time before Dark Corvus crit. All right, let's find our last fight here. All right, we got our last fight up, and we're bringing in our combo here of LQC and Oxlots. Uh, this round one, we need to find someone that uh, can probably tank this. Um, I was thinking of bringing Purges, but unfortunately we lost Ravi. I'm thinking another dual attacker, maybe. Um, we could probably bring Tenebria. It's just, I'm sure they're all on immunity. And we just need someone to soak up. Soak up damage, maybe give us some heals. Who can we bring here? Hmm. Uh, should we try Clurry? We could probably potentially try Clurry. I think that's good. Uh, a little bit of heals. Uh, maybe we can get a Provoke Defense Break on someone, potentially the Dark Corvus, in case he starts going crazy. Uh, but our main goal is to go into the Ken, and then to go into the Ravi, and then finally Dark Corvus. We gotta see depending on who's the fastest there. Because I don't know if I can one-shot the Corvus, uh, but we'll see about that. Round two, it's protect the s here versus uh, protect the RV. So we'll see how that goes. So if we don't int round one again, um, we can for sure take out maybe Dark Corvus, uh, but we gotta go on the Ken because I don't like the crits and no matter what, um, yeah, we're gonna go on the Ken. Because if anyone crits, it, it, they're just gonna get blown up. Okay, he's gone. Uh, we're gonna go on the Ravi. And then we are going to uh, provoke the uh, the Ravi here. Maybe get a defense break. That'll be really nice. Okay, it's working so far. No crit. 
and we'll just poke here. Okay, he's 28k. That's fine. Uh, we'll just S1 the Ravi here. S1 one more time. And we'll push up the LQC. And we're gonna go on the Corvus. Now we're gonna go on the Corvus because we should be able to lap him. And I think we might be able to one shot him. Almost, almost. 26k. That's actually not that bad. Uh, so we will. Uh, we'll just S1 the Corvus. He's on Durandal. I'll show you my ability. Uh, we will. We'll S1 the Corvus. Might be able to take him out here. Able to take him out. Um, but uh, is the Ravi going to take out my LQC? Okay, not enough. So that should be GG, right? Uh, we just got to cycle back around. Okay, let's push up our LQC. Really excited for those buffs. Alright, round two here. Let's see, what do we got? So, we go first. Uh, we're going to go S3 on the RV. Uh, more than likely not going to get the kill here. But we got the stun, so that's nice. Uh, let's S3. S3, so that way when we cycle back with S10A, uh, we can actually deal some damage. Because my S10A's attack, uh, it's pretty much garbage. So we'll S3 here, so we can get the kill on him. Get pushed up just a bit, it's nice. He's going to come back, S3. Uh, he's not going to do any damage. And then we got to chip away at him. We don't have strip or anything like that. So the good thing here is that everyone's going on the uh, on the haste. So the good thing is that the RB is fairly squishy. We'll be able to take him out here pretty quick. And then after that, just grinding down. Uh, FCC and that crowd, right? This is what the uh, so we'll just S1 here. Let's get rid of that. You aren't even fit to kiss my S1 one more time. I will guide you through uh, we will... We'll S2 uh, because we're trying to get the souls. So using the end skills here is going to give us a bunch of souls. Uh, we will just... We'll S1 here. And the RB will die to that poison. So that's nice. <laughs> Greater basket talk, bro. Okay. Counter. And no provoke though. Uh, so we'll just S1. Counter. Uh, what's her face? FCC. Okay. 100% counter rate. That's pretty cool. Um, we just S3, right? That's the play. Maybe we can get a stun. Hey, we got the stun. Okay. Uh, so we will S3. Because we want the attack up for that crowd. Because we want to burn him down. Uh, we got two souls here, so we'll be able to soul burn one time. Unfortunately, though, my haste is like stun locked here. He's provoked. Uh, we'll take that off here, get some more souls. And. Should we soul burn here? We'll just S1. And. We'll, we'll just S1 as well. He won't be at 50% yet. Uh, and then we'll be able to cycle back around here. And we're going to just S1 here. Maybe dual attack. No dual attack. Uh, Alright, so we're going to Soul Burn. Don't 
And when we come back around, or not, we'll get the kill here. Hey, that works. Uh, S10A doing work, not too bad. Uh, I think ever since I rebuilt her, she's been doing a lot better. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully your GVG battles go a lot better than mine. Uh, misplays here and there, that's a lean new EE. Uh, pretty OP though. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.